I'm Louie. And I'm Chelsea, and we're from Sector 9. Here to show you the basics of longboard skateboarding. The first step in learning how to skateboard is figuring out which foot goes forward. There's goofy and regular. But how do you figure that out? You know, your dominant foot tends to come into play when you're not thinking about it. So an easy way to figure out which foot goes foot forward, it's not foolproof, but it works most of the time, is half a friend give you a very light shove on the back and the foot that goes forward first is your dominant foot. For Chelsea, that was her left foot. That means she will stand with her left foot forward on her board and that's regular stance. Myself, if Chelsea gives me a little push, my right foot comes forward. That means I'm goofy. So my right foot forward on the board. Now, while that's not foolproof, it is a good way to deciding if you're uncertain on which way to stand. Once you figure out your stance, the next thing is getting your feet on the skateboard. Like this? Well, when figuring out your weight distribution and your stance, so you generally want to have a stance about as wide as your, sh as your shoulders and have your weight distributed evenly between the front and the back. To keep your balance, it's important to focus your weight down the s in the center of the board. Even though the board's 8, 9, 10 inches wide, the majority of your weight is focused in the direct center of the board. Now that you have your stance and foot placement, it's time to learn how to roll. Alright, now to get started, you need to be able to, you need to learn how to push. For the first push, that what you need to do is you need to put your board on the ground and get your front foot on the board up towards the front with your weight in the center of the truck. With the weight on the center, you push off on your back foot and transfer your weight to the front. If it's your first time and you're unsure, don't be afraid to have a friend give you a helping hand. Shall we, Chelsea? Yeah, let's do it. Give it a little push. Now that you're already rolling, let's talk about a couple key tips to having a good push. Like anything, practice makes perfect. When pushing, it's key to remember to keep the majority of your weight on your front foot or on your skateboard. When you take too much weight off your front foot and onto your pushing foot, you're not skateboarding anymore. You're standing on the ground. With the weight on the center, you push off on your back foot and transfer your weight to the front. When pushing, it helps to turn your front foot outwards a little bit pointing it forward to make it easier to push and keep your weight. When you are done pushing, you turn your foot back, rotating on the ball of your feet a little bit. Chelsea? All right. As you can see here, Chelsea has a nice wide stance, shoulders width apart, with the majority of her weight focused down the center of the board, distributed equally forward to back. Now, if you roll your ankle a little bit, heel to toe, this is what's going to initiate turning on a skateboard. By shifting the weight to one side, it causes the trucks to turn or angle, which is going to direct your skateboard in a new direction. Now that we learned how to go, it's important to learn how to stop. Now, the very basic way to stop is foot braking. It's pretty much the exact opposite of pushing. And you want to use a lot of the same techniques that you've used uh, to learn pushing to learn how to foot brake. So what you want to do is after you're rolling you turn your foot back forward a little bit place all of your weight on that front foot and get take your back foot off like you were going to push again but instead of pushing you gently put your foot down on the ground to drag it across the ground to decrease your speed. Now that you've learned the basics of skateboarding, you can bind them all together so you can cruise around and enjoy the day. Shall we go? Let's do it.